One Piece Chapter 1082 presented a surprise with Sabo appearance at the end of the chapter. Sabo's presence made fans very happy, especially since they assumed he had died in Chapter 1060 after being involved in the destruction of the Kingdom of Lulucia. However, it was revealed at the end of the chapter that Sabo survived the incident as he was not in Lulucia at the time. Chapter 1082 ends with Sabo starting to report to Monkey D. Dragon and Evon Cuff about what really happened in Mary Jo. This certainly caught the attention of fans, and they are hoping that Sabo report will reveal details about what he saw at the Empty Throne. On the fourth day of Reverie, Sabo along with Morley, Lindbergh, and Karsu attack Mary Jo to rescue Bartholomew Kuma. However, they engaged in a battle with Fujitora and Green Bull. Sabo and the other officers successfully completed their mission and retrieved Kuma from Mary Jo. Unfortunately, the world government accused Sabo of killing Nefertari Cobra, king of the Kingdom of Alabasta, and father of Nefertari Vivi. In addition, Sabo was separated from his entourage when they fled. He then hid in the Kingdom of Lulucia and managed to contact the Revolutionary Army, but the Marines found him. Before he could provide further details, the mysterious leader of the world government destroyed the island. After an energy blast from the sky destroyed Lulucia and made it disappear from the map, Gorose ordered the Marines to forget about the capture by declaring that Lulucia never existed. Sabo's fate after the destruction is unknown until One Piece Chapter 1082. At the Revolutionary Army headquarters in the Kamabaka Kingdom, Sabo reveals that he was not in Lulucia when he destroyed the island, and he joined a number of Lulushans who wanted to join the Revolutionary Army on a ship around the area. Shortly after, Sabo met up with Dragon and Evon Cub in a special place. In a more surprising moment, Sabo says that he will tell them everything that happened on Mary Joa during Reverie. This is interesting because it is thought to involve information about one of the series' biggest mysteries, Eam's true identity. Eam is the holder of the Empty Throne in Mary Jo, so he is the highest authority in the world government with the highest level of sovereignty. Even the Goro say who are considered the leaders of the world government by the public must bow their heads before him. However, Eam's existence was always kept secret from the public. He gives orders directly to Gorose who executes them through the Navy and Cypher Pole. Gorose acts as the leader of the world government only as a facade to the general public. So far, Eam has only been seen as a silhouette with a spiked crown, long robes, and almond eyes with red irises along with thin circles around the pupils. Emu's true identity and how he came to be the supreme leader of the world government is still a matter of speculation among fans. However, it is likely that information about Eam will be revealed through Sabo's report to Dragon. During the reverie, Sabo managed to get into the empty throne room at Pangaea Castle. There, he discovered that the throne was not empty as they thought, but someone had filled it. Looking at it directly, Sabo could see the face of the mysterious world leader. However, the world government immediately tried to kill Sabo so that he could not divulge Eam's whereabouts. However, Sabo managed to survive the assassination attempt. Although Eam is an important character in the One Piece series as the person who has the highest authority in the world government, no one in the One Piece world knows the existence of this character. Eam always hid in the shadows. With Sabo revelation, the revolutionary army will know Eamu's whereabouts. Apart from that, depending on how close Sabo is near the empty throne, it is possible that information about Eam's physical appearance could be revealed. As the leader of the revolutionary army, Monkey D. Dragon would definitely respond seriously to such important information about Eam's whereabouts and the supreme authority of the world government. He would realize that this was a great opportunity to overthrow the corrupt government and start a revolution that would change the world. After hearing the explanation from Sabo, Monkey D. Dragon will likely start planning to attack Mary Joa and confront the world government in a huge battle that will decide the fate of the world. He would probably gather his troops and start planning the war strategy carefully, as he knew that this would not be an easy task. However, as a wise and strategic leader, Monkey D. Dragon will also consider the risks and consequences of this final war. He would think about the long-term consequences of their actions and look for ways to minimize the losses that would occur during the battle. <laughs> Shambles. 